You, oh, man, you just met the devil. You just met the devil, the uh, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're coming in good shape. You're looking big. You're feeling strong. Yeah, I'm about what I've been walking around with for quite a while. I'm about two, up and down of 245. Okay. Um, you know, if I drink a bunch of beer over the weekend, I might make 250, <laughs> but that doesn't happen too much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, f I feel pretty good. You know, that when you get older, you got to change your workouts and habits a little bit more, um, which is a real problem because some guys, uh, I get the invite to go and I get crazy acting like I'm 30 and then mm. I end up pulling and hurting. And uh, so I changed some shit up for Matt a little bit of doing more lighter, just working more on my hand and, and arm yeah. along with the gym. So overall, I feel pretty good, plus my diet, I'm trying to clean it up. You look really good. You, you, but you always, like we had this talk with Matt, and I have to ask you, are you a vampire? Because he said you're looking the same for 30 years. <laughs> He's like, maybe he was 150 like 30 years ago. We really don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, What's I'm, the secret? I'm blessed. <laughs> okay. um, I can't say it's because I'm a good boy and just eat clean and don't drink and don't smoke. I don't smoke, which is yeah. good. I do like my alcohol yeah. um, in moderation limits. Yeah. And Angie might say some nights it's a fit, the limit's a little high, but very few. Um, but we try to eat, even Angie, I, I love it because our diet correlates a lot. We eat a lot, a lot more nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, fruits, vegetables, yeah. um, but you know we still have our. I love my pizza, you know. So who doesn't? It's it's not like I have a real bad diet. I've compared what I eat naturally to all these other little diet plans, and pretty much everybody's diet plan. We're somewhere in the balance of all of it, and other than that, I think it's just blessed and good genetics. I f I feel like it is. It is. It's a combination of many things. And uh, you, how long have you been in sport? <laughs> Longer than you've been alive. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, this November will be 43 years for my first competition. 43 years. That's insane. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely insane. And still pretty much at the top. Like there's no, there's no higher point to go than this, uh, which is kind of insane. I talked with Matt and he gave a lot of good, like he didn't say bad thing about you. Any, and he said a phrase which I have heard before which uh, if John Brzezink wouldn't exist, it would be run back. Yeah, it's a complimenting phrase, but I don't know if I'm still quite to John's level. I think if I really would have taken arm wrestling seriously, and I don't mean this that I take it lightly, yeah. um, I could have got, you know, maybe to that status where I actually mm -hmm. trained and understand, um, you know, angles, pressures. I mean, John, even from the first time, he, he's, uh, I think he made a comment once about, if I just help Paul, you know, get in the hook, he would just change up. And he's done. I, I'd get a first win on him. Yeah. He'll come back and do something different. So John, already in his young years, he understand what everybody was talking about today. Now with social media, everybody talks about angles. Yeah. I'm even starting to look at yeah. it a little bit closer. Yeah. Um, I was just such a bull, strong arm wrestler. If I didn't beat you, I was just going to go home and get stronger. Mm. You know? And no, not by taking needles in my ass or anything yeah, yeah. like that because we didn't do it. It just, I work just pressure and I, I didn't really never get to understand the angles and pressures. You know, I learned the top roll, yeah. I learned the hook, but they were all just the basic assumptions. Yeah. Um, nowadays there's, they're tweaking it a little more. Yeah. Um, the likes of Devin and John and a few of these guys yourself, you're looking at more of the angles. I mean, I can list a few more that really study the sport and how, yeah. where to put the pressure. And I think if I would have understood that earlier on, with the power I had naturally for arm wrestling yeah. would have made me even better. So you think it's, uh, you've been a power arm wrestler, not the technical arm wrestler. Very but much you, so. But your technique, uh, like, like there's a lot of guys just strong and terrible techniques. I wouldn't say that about you at all. I say it's uh, maybe, maybe in some matches where you should have put pressure somewhere, you just mm -hmm. didn't. Yep. Right. No, I agree with that. It's yeah. that instinctive pressure. Yeah. I think a lot of my form looks good because it's, you know, so many years of doing it. Yeah. You just learn, I got to stay in that repetition, position. Repetition, repetition. But I know I've had a few injuries and every injury I've got, I relate to bad body position. Mm. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, you put yourself in a compromised position mm -hmm. and shit's gonna snap. Um, shit's gonna snap. <laughs> yeah. Saturday, his name uh, is Matt Mask. <laughs> we'll, use one, we'll use one in particular. It's the, when I tore my pec against Todd Hutchings. Yeah. All right. I went in there. I was a late invite. And, you know, I'm not sure. 
I found out reasons why. My attitude wasn't 100%, all cheap excuses, but we get in the match with Todd. Todd basically had his way with me. I think one match I got him over, but he brought me back. And when it got to the final in, and Todd's holding me to his side table, and I'm putting side pressure on, and I'm on his side table, actually. And that's when my uh, redneck self said, here, hold my beer. <clears throat> and I turned my whole body like this. Full, yeah. And earlier in the night, I already had pressure up in the shoulder. Yeah. So uh, my stupid, bullheaded yeah. attitude just said, go for it. But uh, uh, it wasn't meant to be. Um, smart Ron would have said, you know what? Taking a good, healthy loss is worth it. <laughs> but we get so competitive. Yeah, Armist League is very, com it's, it's competitive everywhere. We tr like in training, it's competitive, right? Yep. And in competition, it's just more competitive than the training. But um, it's, it's one of those weird sports where we just, like, if we would be boxing, you can spar, you can spar, right, hundred percent, but not for long. Yeah. In arm wrestling, you can go hundred percent for a long time mm -hmm. until you kind of get a little bit yep. injured. Um, you you will have uh, the wild horse as your opponent. Uh, he told me that uh, you have met many many times, like in the last past seven years or something, but never fresh for fresh. No, uh, we were talking about that earlier. Um, no, it's always been like quarterfinals. Yeah semi-final somewhere's in there um <clears throat> but uh yeah i don't know if we've ever met um never in a super match format yeah um you know i think uh well wall would have had a little bit of it but we were still not fresh because you didn't have yeah uh, it was different it wasn't different. come in fresh and pull the whole tournament so that is a correct statement yeah um but yeah i think the last one was about seven years ago though but before that we pulled a lot yeah yeah. As a matter of fact, I think it wasn't long after that I was asked to pull him. I said, no, I'm tired. I want to pull somebody new. <laughs> so it's been so long since I pulled him and the offer was yeah. good. I'm like, and Matt's always fun. I mean, me and Matt. And if, you, if you're not deciding to watch it because it's Ron, old Ron Bath and Matt, trust me, it'll be exciting at that table. Whether it's a blowout or not, me and Matt will be in each other's face and we love each other like brother until we get to that table. So get your pay-per-view. <clears throat> that's yeah well this is how we should end the video but uh yeah <laughs> we're still going. so um we kind of we kind of know <laughs> we kind of know the strengths of matt matt's explosive right you try to uh most likely we'll start with the top roll and then if it doesn't work you'll try to hook him or what what is the plan without giving up too much matt there's, <laughs> there really isn't a plan uh, the plan with Matt is I got to stop his hit and I got to mm. hold on and stop his pronation. Yeah. The two biggest assets Matt has is he, he will out hit me. His last opponent, he actually got out hit by uh, Kalinchenko, is that his yes. name? Yes. Yeah. I actually out hit Matt, but I'm not yes. that fast. Yeah. If I out hit Matt, I'm, and I'm going to try. I'm going to try to push that go if my mind's right. I'm going to push and yeah. I might even have to take an early go because I got to try to catch him on the start. And I got to try to contain his pronation a little bit. And if I can do those, it'll be a war. And then it's, there's really no technique. You just try to get the position and the angle you can in that split second. Yeah. Um, but that'd be my only game plan right now is just get that first initial stop. Yeah. And then absorb a Slow him more. down. Slow him mm -hmm. down. Slow him yep. down. Because Matt is the mo one of the most explosive top rollers ever, right? He's he just is. Poof, so fast there. But you can stop him, and um, there's a lot of ways to stop him. And uh, I think just if you haven't seen any of the Ron and Matt, Matt, you go just on YouTube, write mm -hmm. down, and you'll see some magic there. Matt's yeah. never really broken my hand all the way back to this position. He keeps it flat to a little bit more. Usually I can keep it contained. So I'm hoping with the way I've been working it, um, I got a little bit more. Um, maybe I'll try to slip or something, go to the straps, but that's not my forte. <laughs> you know, when yeah. you're in the sport for 43 years and 30 of those years, it was just not manly to slip. And now the whole sport's going to, you got to learn how oh, to slip. Crossy so loves you, I think. Crossy, Crossy is like, yeah. no strap. Just hook. Yep. <laughs> oh, you didn't. Even some of the rules were, if you intentionally slip, you'd fall low. Devin, Devin Laird would never win a match. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Without you, it's also John going to pull on this card with yeah. big big return of Alexi Voivoda. How do you feel about John's chances in that match? Because people are picking <laughs> Voivoda because of younger, fresher, uh, not a lot of miles right on his arms. 
uh, kind of re literally retired in 2007 and now is that small return that didn't work out with Tim Bresnan and now this. I probably can put it in the same way with a lot my match with Matt. Age definitely is not no longer our friend, mm. all right? Age is definitely the benefit of Matt and Alexi, all right? So I think with John, it's the same thing. It's the variable you don't know. If mm. John can stop him down and get and, and uh, not let Alexi take total control of his hand, and John can keep his hand at his wrist and stay in form, it can go into some wars, yeah. and John could come come out. Um, it's it's hard to say because there's so many more variables we have when you start getting older. You got you got to look for that little break, and you got to hope your day is spot on. Yeah. Um, we can't we lose a little bit definitely. Um, I think it could be. It's going to be like mine. It could be a blowout, yeah. or it's going to be one hell of a war. Yeah. And um, I don't think anybody should lose sight that I think the wars are coming, and it should be some fun arm wrestling. I'm definitely going to be rooting for John. Um, but to say I'm not leaning a little bit because of the age factor and the health of the arm factor, yeah. Alexi, um, you know, I'd be lying. Yeah. Um, it's, and, it's hard to bet against John, right? Because he has yeah. done magic so many times when it's looked ridiculous and he just... Well, it's sort of like the Ermies and Devon match, you know. Everything assumed that Ermies should have beat him. Yeah. And I was telling my wife, Angie, um, that because we talked about that match a lot. And it's like, you know, Ermies should win. But you can't bet against <laughs> Devon. Yeah. Um, Velvoda should win. Yeah. But you can't bet against John. Yeah. Matt Mass should win. Mm. But you better not bet against me. Mm. Uh, I said, I like that look. That means yeah. you're questioning. Mm. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I'm, but, I'm, uh, I, I just want to see, like, you're looking super confident. You're looking healthy. You're looking strong. So, And uh, you have that. You have a game plan. So you're in a good mindset. That's what I want to see. When, when I see guys, like, panicking, right, three days before the match, I know that shit's not good, right? So I, I feel like this match, also this card is looking like it could be one of the best king of tables ever. Even even if some of the matches doesn't deliver, the weight of the matches are still there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think anybody downplaying this one, which there was some conversation from a few, yeah. um, you know, the trollers who uh, know very little, <laughs> yeah. um, want to play it off as not, no, they're they're misleading themselves. There's, there's going to be some good matches. Definitely. So, um, granted, we do give up some. But so, why they should get the pay-per-view? Why should they get their pay-per-view? Yeah, yeah. The best reason they should get their pay-per-view is because Ron Bath and Matt Mass are going to be pulling. And if you look at all the past matches between us two, win or lose, there's never a boring moment. We will be in each other's face. And uh, I think Aussie arm wrestler Jake said, which one of us are going to smash the table first because we both like to get so excited. We'll smash that table. Matt says he's not going to. I don't believe I'm it. willing to put money on <laughs> yeah. that Matt smashes the table as well, many times as I do. Wagner said that he's not going to destroy the table in the last uh, one before Easter. <laughs> Remember, yes? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, that's right. I will guarantee me and Matt will not shake the table apart like he did. Yeah. Uh, we just like to slap it and yeah. see if we can bust our hand. <laughs> How do you think I probably did that? Really? <laughs> I think so. I mean, we're talking years ago. <laughs> and normally I'm quiet. Yeah. But some matches just fire me up that when I have a good hit, like if I catch yeah. a match and we slip, yeah. oh yeah, you know I'm going to be slapping that table. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, how long does it did, did it take you to recover from Zurab's match? That was brutal. Um, I don't want to play Paul Lin's match down, give credit to all the Paul Lin. I should have stepped away from that match. Mm. Um, that was due to disrespect to Paul because I thought I'd just Paul Lynn. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, that guy's thrived since. So with that being said, uh, that was seven weeks after. Um, but there was a lot that went on. I think yeah. a good month would have been adequate if I would have had the proper yeah. rehab and I didn't. Angie flew, we went to Turkey, went to Greece, got engaged. She, we got back home, she had to fly back to Canada. So she was gone, so I was just on like relief mode and I was playing it off a lot. And I'm, it's only Paul, it's only, and my, but the arm was sore for weeks, yeah. if not a month. That was brutal. Um, that was one the, of the most brutal matches The ever. whole rest of the time in Greece, um, I had to wear Michael Todd's jacket when I wanted to and the sleeve was still tight. I mean, this arm was so jack-pumped. Yeah. It, it was a brutal match. Yeah. I mean, 
Again, if you haven't seen Zurav Talbaridze versus Rombat, it's probably the greatest uh, East versus West match ever. Uh, go and check it out. And th I'm always interested because people think it's 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 harmless thing. Like, how much time do you need to recover? But when you're going 100% and the other guy's going 100% and you have to push more than 100%. And that was like 40 minute match or something. Oh God, it was. It um... takes. It was almost, a, we were up there almost an hour or so. Almost an hour. We yeah. definitely pissed off all the guys who pulled after us because we made that thing go late. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was some yeah. slips, some fouls, and uh, just some hard arm wrestling, which yeah. was. I would love to see something similar on Saturday, but maybe not as long. Just, no, just... <laughs> not as long. Um, I don't want to lose, I'll make the victories mine, but. No, I don't think you'll get that. Oh, no. It's hard to get something. Between guys. me and Matt, you yeah. could see a match like that. Yeah, we, you we, honestly could. Yeah, six rounds. Six rounds. Yeah. Yeah. King of Table 8, uh, September 23, live on pay-per-view. Link is in description. Run back. Don't miss it.